Y'all, it is 100 degrees out right now. Too hot for long sleeves. Hi, I'm Jordan. Hi, I'm Tony. And for the next five days, I will be recreating Dua Lipa's Instagram. I really like her music and I like her style. I think that her style is like pretty Gen Z. She's a maximalist, which I too am a maximalist with my fashion. She truly is a disco pop icon. She has a really fun, playful style. She likes to play around with color, which I love. A lot of her clothes, though, do scream designer, and we aren't working with a designer budget. We're gonna have to get creative. I look nothing like her. I'm nervous because I know that, like, when I'm trying to recreate outfits, a lot of times I run into the problem of not being able to find stuff in my size. I'm gonna go ahead and look in my closet and see if there's anything. Let's go shopping. We're gonna have to do some hardcore dupe research. See if we can get lucky here and find a crop top that is plaid. Surprisingly, I thought it would be a lot easier to find. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I need this pink peasant top maybe oh oh got him we have this moment she looks so cool that's <laughs> that's all i can say about this photo i actually found like a dua lipa fan account that like actually clocks all of her outfits and tells you exactly where they're from this is the top that i think is going to be one of the harder things to find then we have this little cowboy outfit I'm dying that hers is Mew Mew, and I'm literally like big and tall, red checkered shirt. But we're gonna crop it or something. We're gonna do a little finagling with this one. <laughs> Neon orange. Obviously hers is probably much more expensive and much more designer. Okay, so we have this shoulder padded, oversized double-breasted blazer. I think this one will work. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm going to try and find this jacket. Wait, is it Justin Bieber's jacket? Oh my God, I feel so special because I love Justin Bieber. Wow. $900? No, that's not right. We're gonna get this and hope that it comes in time. I still have bits and pieces and odds and ends to put together, but I'm excited for these clothes to come in. I can't wait to start this challenge. Dula Peep, I hope I make you proud. All right, so my challenge is not to recreate the entire carousel of photos, but just the first photo here. Here are the sunglasses. I'm hoping that they're like somewhat similar. Okay, not horrible for my first dupe. Also, these are great. Are these polarized? And then for the top, it's mesh. It's playing around with the same color palette. It just isn't the same shape or obviously cut. I think we might be able to make this work. I'm going to be doing the one where she's on her back and she's in the pink shirt, which I already have on. Pink jeans, I don't have jeans, but I do have sweatpants that are the same-ish color. I think she's on like a chair, like outside furniture. I don't have access to that. <gasps> I'm gonna do it on my couch. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I think I got it to work. I hope the rest of the ones this week are not this ridiculous. All right, so I think that went pretty well. I think we have a lot to choose from. I'm gonna go through my entire camera roll, see what works best. I will say I did feel super fierce posing like that. Miss Dua knew what she was doing. That's like not horrible. <laughs> It's not exactly right. It's not the worst thing. What is wrong with me? This is a photo I was meant to recreate. And so this was my first attempt. The background is very similar. My attempt to Photoshop, absolutely horrid. I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm not thinking too much about like looking exactly like her photo because I knew this was gonna be hard, but I think the essence is there. Today, I have to take the picture on the roof. Gonna go outside, so let's get dressed. So we're just going with an all white moment since unfortunately I don't have a plaid crop top. And I'm not gonna lie, this challenge is really difficult. I'm finding myself 
looking at the photos and being like, there's an absolutely no way I'll be able to recreate this photo and have it be convincing. I literally don't take Instagram too seriously. I'm just gonna have fun and try my best not to get into my head too much. Had a little check-in moment with myself. Feeling good. My whole chest is out. So that's just like what we're going with. It's on, her bag is on this side. Whoa. Honestly, the lighting is very accurate. So I came up right at the correct time of day. I'm kind of obsessed. Like it, it honestly looks really good. I think my arms are just like so much shorter than hers. But that's okay, I did it. The next photo I'm going to be uploading today is my recreation of this photo here. I just took this really quickly on my balcony. That's a lie. It was not very quickly. It actually took me like 30 minutes. This video has been a really great way for me to kind of revamp my personal Instagram that I created, not for work, but just for myself. So. It's kind of been really nice. She has it cropped in a square. There isn't any filter on her, so that's literally all I need to do. I feel like people are gonna be like, what is this outfit? Like, obviously not my aesthetic at all, but then my followers are really supportive, so people are probably gonna be like, oh my God, like, yes. For me, it's really not giving. I hope that it's less hot later in this week when I have to do more pictures outside. So today is the third day of posting I like Dua Lipa. For today's photo, I'm gonna be recreating this moment where Dua is in a matching orange blazer and pant with this black strappy top underneath and a black purse. I don't have a matching orange situation, but I do have an orange blazer and the black bag and a strappy black top that looks very similar to hers. For some reason, I really thought that people were gonna notice that I was not posting like myself. Nobody has said anything yet. I'm really excited about the picture for today. It's really hot out, so I'm not gonna put anything under the jacket, but she's wearing a puffer jacket, which I don't have the matched, exact match, but I do have one that is like a printed puffer jacket. I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna start my makeup. And her makeup, I'm really excited. It's like this like milky like eyeshadow. Cute. I think it looks really nice. Oh, that's darker than I thought it was gonna be. Look at these pants. They're so big on me, like the waist is perfect. The good thing in the photo, you can't even really look at the whole pant number, but the blazer's not too bad. So uh, now to take some photos. Okay, we've made it into my car <laughs> to take this picture. We're setting up the tripod. I have a very small car. It's a compact car. I feel like I'm in a clown car. People are gonna look at this picture and be like, why the freak are you wearing a winter coat? Like, <laughs> it's actually better. Okay. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is a very stressful for me. Ooh. Yeah. I will say these poses did feel a lot more like what I would naturally post on my Instagram. Just like a cute showing off the outfit moment. So I'm going to go through these photos. I'm gonna pick some selects and we're gonna upload. I just need to blur the picture, which should be pretty easy. I'm interested to see even if people comment at all because the picture from yesterday got a lot of engagement. Good morning and welcome to day four. I'm really excited about this one and I really like this photo because it looks like she's just enjoying her time as she should. I think this is probably the best fit because it's so simple. I already had these black flare pants and I ordered this black tank top. We have these black shoes that kind of look similar. These aren't very comfortable, but I think for the photo they'll work. And today we are doing the cowboy look and I am so excited. I have the checkered shirt and I need to crop it. I'm gonna look like a farmer. It's gonna be in an even line because there are lines on the shirt. That's genius. I also like didn't have fabric scissors, so these are just like regular. I just made a horrible cut. It's gonna be in an even line because there are lines on the shirt. Okay, she's wearing sunglasses. She also has like a necklace on. 
and some earrings. She's a black and white bag, but I have one that matches the outfit that's also black and white. So in Dua's photo, she's in a private jet and sitting in like this off-white kind of cream chair. And we don't have a private jet today, unfortunately. So we're just gonna use my cute little chair here. And then I brought in some props for the photo that were kind of in her photo. Oh, that is a leg workout. These pictures came out really good. I feel like they're really not the aesthetic of my Instagram. I just realized I put the bag on the wrong side. It's hard when you do it on selfie because it like reverses. All right, so all that's left is just to go through the photos, pick which one I want to post and we'll be good for today. We made last day last day i am very excited for this look because this is the justin bieber jacket one and you know that i love justin i'm feeling good and i'm excited to finish out this challenge very strong this photo carousel is more of just like a photo dump so that's how i'm gonna post as well and i'm just looking and checking up on my post from yesterday i know it's received pretty decently so that's good she's wearing this matching set wherever she's at is giving me very much so teletubby vibes it's beautiful and looking at the comments, people are saying this is in Mexico. I'm in LA, but we're just gonna have to go for a park moment instead. I don't know if this is gonna fit me. I'm scared. It's a little tight. Okay. It doesn't fit me, but it's enough for the picture. I like the yellow hat with the like orange. And then we have the bag. This is great. This is exactly what she looks like. And then I think I'm just gonna Photoshop the background. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this jacket and edit these pictures now. I feel very grateful that she like doesn't edit her pictures at all. I'm gonna edit her background onto my picture since I don't have a background that's even a little bit similar to hers. Okay, that looks pretty good. To me, that looks kind of real. I'm feeling great. I'm a bit relieved that it's over, but I'm also kind of sad because it's given me this motivation to be active on my Instagram in a way I really am not ever. The one that did the best was the cowboy outfit. In close second was the like peasant shirt with the snakeskin pants. That also did really well. I think I would do this again, but with a celebrity that maybe has more accessible clothing. And by accessible, I mean not all designer. I would definitely do it again. To have to work to like get the background similar and to edit the picture so that's the same. Like that's really fun for me. I'm just going to, following this challenge, just be more open to posting true and authentic content.